பகவத்கீதா சாப்டர் நைன் we have to see shloka 6 but before getting into shloka 6 let me sum up the previous two shlokas we have already discussed previous two shlokas shloka 4 maya tatam idam sarvam jagad avyakta murtina matsthani sarva bhutani na chahanteshva vasthitah and shloka 5 na cha matsthani bhutani pashyame yogam aishwaram bhuta bhranna cha bhutastho mamatma bhuta bhavanah these two shlokas together convey a very important aspect of vedanta brahma satyam jagan mithya brahman alone is satya jagat is mithya the word mithya should be understood properly most often people translate mithya as illusion vedanta says everything is illusion vedanta says the world is illusion in fact it is a wrong understanding of vedanta mithya does not mean illusion mithya is a a term that explains the status of existence of the universe whether a given object exists or it does not exist when we ask this question generally we think there can be only two answers it exists and it does not exist what exists is called sat what does not exist is called asat sat and asat
बट वेन वी स्टडी वेदांत वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर कैन बी एन इन बिटवीन कैटेगरी इट इज नीदर सत्य नॉर असत्य इट इज नॉट सत्य एंड इट इज नॉट असत्य ऑल्सो नॉट सत्य मीन्स इट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट फ्रॉम द एब्सल्यूट सेंस and not asat it is not altogether non existent also let us take an example rope snake the snake that you superimpose on a rope in dim light there is no complete visibility you are not able to see properly because the light is not adequate there is some light but it is not adequate in such a condition the rope appears to be a snake in sanskrit rope is called rajju and snake is called sarpa rajju sarpa the snake that appears on a rope what is the existential status of the rope snake does it exist yeah i think my voice is breaking i am not in a good internet connection today that is why perhaps it is breaking is it audible to others <laughs> it's not audible no yes sir very clear sir very clear okay it's uh it's 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 breaking it's breaking for some people it is breaking voice is lost in between huh i i am not getting proper feedback please write whether it is clear or it is breaking i think it is quite slow okay some words are not clear you know what what is happening is uh, i am losing the internet connection in between yeah yeah it is a, it may so be a good idea mute or turn huh? off your camera yeah 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 you i'll turn try off your camera also yeah yeah is it audible now yes yes sir okay okay yeah so oh
ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಅದು ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇನ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನೀವೇ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಟ್ರೈ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯಾ ಹಾಟ್ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಹಾಟ್ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ the rope snake you cannot say it is it really exists you cannot say it is sat likewise you cannot say it is asat it is absolutely non existent even this cannot be said therefore the rope snake is neither sat nor asat therefore it is called sada sadbhyam anirvachaniyam it cannot be categorized into sat or asat such object is called mithya it is neither real from the absolute sense nor it is absolutely non existent there are certain objects that are absolutely non existent like a rabbit's horn rabbit's horn does not exist nobody sees a rabbit's horn but it is not so with the rope snake the rope snake is visible you experience the rope snake. it appears but in the meantime it is not real from the absolute sense 
such objects are called mithya according to vedanta even this universe the jagat the universe is called a jagat in vedantic terminology when we say universe we are not using the word in the sense of cosmology in the cosmology they have a different meaning for universe universe and multiverse when we use the word universe in vedanta it includes all names and forms all forms and all names all words all words and all meanings are included now the vedanta reveals that the entire universe is mithya then what is satyam what is real satya means real from the absolute sense absolute reality it is only brahman brahma satyam jagan mithya this is an important teaching in vedanta no among brahman and jagat among brahman and jagat the brahman is not known to us we are familiar with the jagat we are familiar with the universe but the vedanta has to reveal the brahman as the only reality as the only satya but the vedanta cannot reveal it directly pointing out at a given object and say this is brahman it is not possible because brahman is not a drishya brahman cannot be shown as an object therefore krishna says avyakta murti na brahman is avyakta murti his nature is not available as an object not visible as an object therefore the vedanta makes use of a methodology to reveal the brahman
द वेदांता रिवील्स द ब्रह्मन थ्रू द जगत बिकॉज द जगत इज ऑलरेडी फेमिलियर टू अस it is like you are introducing a person through one of his relatives whom you already know for example you want to introduce one mr devadatta to me i don't know devadatta but i have i know very i know devadatta's father very well devadatta's father is yajnadatta mr yajnadatta then how will you introduce devadatta to me you will say yajnadatta san you will introduce devadatta through yajnadatta it is not audible now again no audible sorry okay okay it's very clear okay fine fine yeah 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 audible sorry okay fine fine yeah likewise the vedanta reveals brahman through the jagat which is already familiar to us how does it introduce as the cause of the jagat you know this jagat where has this jagat come from where has this universe come from what is the cause the cause is brahman yato va imani bhutani jayante yena jatani jivanti yat prayanti abhi samvishanti tad brahma from which everything has come and on account of which everything is sustained and into which everything resolves it is brahman through the jagat the vedanta introduces brahman when we talk about a cause karana cause is called karana there are two types of causes nimitta karana and upadana karana for example a pot there is a nimitta karana an intelligent cause the potter and an upadana karana material cause clay likewise even this universe should have a nimitta karana and an upadana karana 
a material cause and an intelligent cause. And the Vedanta says both the material cause as well as the intelligent cause are the Brahman. Here we, I, I would like to make a note. When we discuss Brahman as the cause of the universe, we refer to the Brahman as Ishvara. Ishvara is none other than Brahman. What is the difference between the word Ishvara and Brahman? Ishvara is a relation word. For example, Mr. Devadatta, he is Yajnadatta's son. Therefore, Yajnadatta calls him son. From the standpoint of Yajnadatta, Devadatta is a son. In his own nature, he is not a son. Because another person cannot call him a son. Likewise, the word Ishvara is used when we refer to Brahman from the standpoint of the Jagat. In his own nature, when we have to refer to the Brahman in its own nature, without considering the Jagat, we use the word Brahman. So now, as the cause of the universe, Brahman is called Ishvara. And the Ishvara is both Nimitta Karana as well as Upadana Karana of the universe. Therefore, Ishvara is called Abhinna Nimitto Padana Karanam. Abhinna means not different. Generally, Nimitta Karana is different from Upadana Karana. The potter is different from clay. But in the case of the universe, Ishvara is both Nimitta Karana as well as the Upadana Karana. Now one may ask, is it possible that the same person can be both Nimitta Karana and Upadana Karana? Then the Vedanti answers, it is possible because even in the world you can see such examples. Even though such examples are rare, Yathor nana bhisrajate grinhate cha, the spider. Spider makes a web. Who is the intelligent cause? 
even to make a web you should have some intelligence everyone cannot weave a web in fact human beings also learnt weaving from spider they say so the intelligent cause nimitta karana is the spider then who is the upadana karana from who does the raw material come even the raw material comes from the spider when such examples are seen in the world it is very much possible even in the case of ishvara ishvara is both nimitta karana and upadana karana therefore in shloka 5 second line bhut abhrinna cha bhutastho mamatma bhuta bhavanah bhut abhrit means upadana kar upadana karana is the one which supports being the substance like the pot is supported by clay being the substance of the pot likewise ishvara is bhuta bhrit he supports all the bhutas supports all the objects being the very stuff the substance therefore upadana karana and bhuta bhavana the word bhuta bhavana bhutani bhavayati iti bhuta bhavana he produces the bhutas means nimitta karana the same ishvara is nimitta karana no being the cause of the universe the ishvara who is none other than brahman pervades the universe the cause pervades the effect the gold pervades the ornaments the clay pervades the pot likewise even brahman pervades the entire universe therefore in the first line of shloka 4 bhagavan said maya tatam idam sarvam jagat this entire universe idam sarvam jagat maya tatam it is pervaded by me being the upadana karana brahman pervades the universe therefore in and through the universe you can find the brahman where is brahman the existence we experience every object 
with existence the pot is table is chair is what is the is it is brahman the existence is brahman therefore idam sarvam jagat maya tatam this whole universe is pervaded by me matsthani sarvabhutani all objects are supported by me i am the support of all the objects in the second line of shloka 4 bhagavan is conveying the difference between brahman and the jagat in terms of the the status of existence all the objects depend on brahman for existence whereas the brahman does not depend on anything for his existence therefore the jagat does not have intrinsic existence since the jagat depends on brahman for existence the jagat does not have intrinsic existence whereas brahman does not depend on jagat for his existence therefore brahman has intrinsic existence now the one who has the intrinsic existence is called satya real whereas the one who doesn't have intrinsic existence is mithya unreal therefore मत्स्थानि सर्वभूतानि सर्वभूतानि ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स फॉर्म द जगत दे आर मत्स्थानि दे आर रेस्टिंग ऑन मी दे आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन मी for their existence they exist on account of the endorsement from brahman they do not exist independently therefore sarvabhutani mithya jagat mithya this idea is conveyed by this line matsthani sarvabhutani nachaham teshvavasthitaha i am not dependent on them i am not resting on them means i am not dependent on them for my existence meaning my existence 
is intrinsic. The existence of Brahman is intrinsic. Therefore, Brahma Satyam, Brahman is Satya. Therefore, this line conveys Jagan Mithya, Brahma Satyam. Brahman is real, Jagat is Mithya. Now the next line. Nacha masthani bhutani. In fact, this line seems to contradict the previous line. Matsthani sarva bhutani. All objects are on me. And this statement is Nacha matsthani bhutani. No object is on me. There is a seeming contradiction. How do you reconcile it? We have to understand it properly. When Krishna says, Matsthani Sarva Bhutani, all objects are on me, he means to say that the objects do not have intrinsic existence. They borrow existence from Brahman. Then, when he says, Nacha Matsthani Bhutani, no object is on me, he is ruling out the real relation between Brahman and Jagat. If Jagat is Mithya and Brahman is Satya, even the relation between Brahman and Jagat are not real. Previously, we discussed Karya Karana Bhava cause-effect relation between Brahman and Jagat. Brahman was made Karana. Jagat was introduced as Karya, effect. Effect and cause. We have talked about this relation between Brahman and Jagat. When there is a cause-effect relation, it seems that the cause is supporting the effect. But now, when the effect, Jagat is Mithya, Even the cause-effect relation is Mithya. Even the Karya Karana Sambandha is Mithya. I gave the example in the last session. Devadatta gets a son in dream. Devadatta does not have a son. But he gets a son in the dream. Because of this dream son, he becomes father in dream. The dream son can make him father only in dream. It cannot make him father in the waking. Likewise, When the Jagat is Mithya, even the cause-effect relation 
कार्य कारण संबंध और इवन द आधार आधेय संबंध सपोर्ट सपोर्टेड रिलेशन बिटवीन ब्रह्मन एंड जगत आर बाउंड टू बी मिथ्या बाउंड टू बी अनरियल एंड दिस इज कन्वेड बाय दिस लाइन न च मत्स्थानी भूतानी इन रियलिटी the objects do not exist in me in reality i am not even the support of the objects i am not even the support of the jagat because the jagat is mithya therefore my being the support of the jagat or my being the karana of the jagat is also not real if brahman does not become karana really then what makes him appear as the karana what makes him the karana in fact the karana status is as do mithya so what gives the mithya karana status to brahman then he says pashyame yogameeshwaram it is my aishwaram yogam my yoga maya the yoga maya which belongs to ishwara which is supported by ishwara even the maya does not exist independently therefore even the maya is mithya it is because of the yoga maya the maya that ishwara gets the status of karana which is also unreal and on account of the maya brahman becomes bhuta bhrat and bhuta bhavana he becomes both the nimitta karana and upadana karana as do but in reality mama atmana cha bhutasthah mai atma is in no way associated with the bhutas it is not associated with the bhutas it is not associated with the jagat therefore it is not affected by the jagat also the brahman is not affected by the jagat because it is not associated with the jagat therefore brahman is absolutely free from samsara absolutely asamsari and since brahman is your own swarupa your own self even you are free from samsara your true self is not affected by samsara at any point of time 
even during ajnana even when you are an ajnani even when you are thinking that you are a samsari you are not affected by samsara therefore your swarupa your true nature is nitya muktaha ever free ever unaffected asanga this vision is conveyed in these two shlokas and in the following shloka it will be driven home with an example with a drishtanta we will see it in the following session ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं